<laughs> okay, thank you. Congratulations, man. Oh, thank you, bro. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Bruno. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so very much, thank Bruno. You, we love you. Please don't take off the rebounds, we are still in the separation. Back home? No, no, you don't walk like that. You have to walk like the newly wedded couple. Okay, so the newly wedded bride, here That's we go. <laughs> So why are we not somewhere exotic? We shouldn't be home, it's our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Very soon we'll go for a honeymoon. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me, where exactly are we going? Because I have my bikinis ready. Mm -hmm. For my selfies and all. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a surprise for you. Wow. Well, Mm -hmm. I love surprises, but don't keep it for too long. Okay then, not keeping that for too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, can we go inside? So I start from here, <laughs> lick my baby down here. here. Why about, what about starting from here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, not really, not really. No, we need to capitalize on No, something. no, no one is capitalizing on anything. But... But that's what you said. No, it's not true. Anyway, that aside, I want us to talk about something more important to me. Honey, I've been asking you where we'll go for our honeymoon. You said it was a surprise. Like, I can't even wait to hear it because I have so many pictures in my head already. You know, taking a selfie on a yacht, cruising somewhere, you know. So please, tell me already, where are we going? Okay, well, um... Break the news! I know. <laughs> you see, I'm actually thinking of, um... There's this Lebanese hotel Whoa. in Abuja. You are going to love it. Uh, sorry, did I hear you say Abuja? Oh yes, uh, the uh, FCT, the Federal Capital Territory. Uh, um, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't. Is there any problem? What do you mean Abuja? Abuja is just here. Yeah. It's just 45 minutes flight to Abuja, honey. I'm not talking about a meeting. I am talking about our honeymoon, like, after our wedding. Oh, of, of course I know, but... So why do, you, why, why do you have an issue with that? Uh, it's it's like... not like you can't even afford it. So where are we going to Abuja? Why can't we go overseas? Uh, well, come on, honey. This hotel is, is cozy and exquisite. Uh, please, please. I don't even want to hear that. I don't... Don't even repeat it. What do you mean, Abuja? Uh, uh, honey, honey. I don't even want to hear you talking about Abuja. I won't take it. It's either overseas or no honeymoon. Talking about how many more on our guam kuzi and exquisite. On our kuzi, who is exquisite? Who are they? Don't, 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 don't even try it, please, please. Listen, this is you don't have to be angry for no reason. What should? Baby. Come on, F City is nice. Just walk out of me? No, I just got here. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We are going to have our honeymoon in London. You know, we're going to watch football matches. Oh, uh, please. Just stop that joke. What is London? What is happening in London? No, tell me. What's happening there? 
What if we go to places like the Bahamas, somewhere like Paris, to Dubai? I mean, tourist sites. You're taking me to London. Am I going to count bridges? What am I going to London to do? Well, I, we can't Baha anything for now. Oh. Yeah, because um, I didn't actually plan that. London is cool for, okay. for us to have I'm a honeymoon. If we can't go to any of those places I just mentioned, just stop talking about this honeymoon to my hearing. Because you're beginning to irritate me. What did you just say? You heard me. Excuse me. Really now? Oh no. <laughs> okay, what's funny? You! You are ridiculous. Honestly, you are. How do you mean? You have to be careful so you're not misunderstood. I mean, I do not want him to see you as a gold digger. I am his wife for crying out loud. I deserve everything good. He's arguing on that. But you have to slow down. Uh -huh. I am your best friend and I will never lie to you or deceive you. Slow down. She says I should slow down. I insist that you slow oh. down. No. Sorry. Just sometimes say please. Okay. Oh, please. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I've been on my phone. Someone sent me something. I've just been checking them out. Some new jewelries in town. I see. Mm -hmm. So, oh, sorry. How was your own day? Oh, my, my day was just there. You know, uh -huh. I got a couple of externals coming for project, but. That's by the way. Oh, great. So I bought something for you. Stop saying you know you're gonna like it. Iyanga. Oh yes, uh, Iyanga Boutique. That's like one of the best boutiques in town. It was hard to make that choice, but yeah. <coughs> now it's with feet. The shiny stuff and all of that of my baby. Sorry, is this for me or for your mother? Oh yes, it's, it's for you. Can you get this for me? Honey, come on, this is cheap. I didn't even wear this while I was still in the university. Okay, how can you call this cheap, love? This is. This is top notch. Oh come on! Why would you say that? I, I, I bought this from the best boutique in town. Uh, why would I buy? That's my type. Honey, come on! How can you buy this? It even smells like something you got from those people who sell okra by the roadside. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Did you get this from a boutique or from a boutique? No, that is not fair. Don't tell me it's not fair. This is not nice. How can you look? This is nice. Honey, you know, I can't wear it first. You're gonna. I can't try this. So, uh, you didn't tell us you were coming? Yes, I came for a wedding and I decided to sleep over. I'm over you, are welcome. Oh. Oh. You're very much welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So, hey. um, can you take her to the guest room? Sure, yeah. sure. Mama. I have so many cheese. Really? Bring your bag. Come in there. 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 Come in
honey. I hope you haven't forgotten about the money I told you. The one for my makeup kit. Oh yeah. I still have that in mind. As a matter of fact, you're getting it right away. Thank you. You're always welcome. That is like 20,000, I believe. Okay. Uh, honey, please, just, just, just sit down first. Sit down. What? Right, I'm running late. Uh, to run along. What are you giving me 20,000 naira for? What am I supposed to buy with 20,000 naira? I told you I'm buying my whole kit and you're giving me. What, what are uh, well, you what doing with this? Easy, baby. I didn't know 20,000 won't be enough. Well, it won't be enough. Well, that means I have to withdraw my way out. This should be like 25, so I'll take It's still not enough though. At um, least I forget. Mama is going back today. Oh, that's true. Okay, um, th there's some money I, I left uh, in the wardrobe. You can take some from there and uh, give to her. Hmm? For her transport, huh? All right. kept in the wardrobe. Did you see it? What money are you talking about? Is it the same money you asked me to give my mother for transport? Wait. You mean you gave your mother 150,000? You gave your mother 150,000 for transport. Is she going to heaven? What do you mean is she going to heaven? Nacheregodo. Each time we start talking about money, you start being rude and you start raising your voice at me. Eh? Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, let me finish. You asked me to give her money. I simply carried out your order. I gave her the money in the wardrobe. Why are you shouting? Brenda, are you joking? You gave your mother 150,000. So are you for real? Yeah. Eh? So you can't give her 20,000 or, 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 or 30,000 for transport. You gave her 150,000. No, no, you 20,000 or 30,000. What will she use 20,000 naira for? Let me understand something. What is it with you and this defensive mechanism when it comes to money? You are becoming a stingy man by the day. Gradually, gradually. It started small, small. Now it's becoming very big. I didn't come to this house to come and suffer. Pico, don't even try it. Money you asked me to give to your own mother-in-law, the same woman that carried me and gave to you. You are here shouting. Oh, no, but Brenda, you're obviously joking. You, you can. You are not even serious. How am I even here? I argue with you. What are you doing that you are shouting? Now bring down the house. Fire! Let's fire in the house and bring it down. Excuse me, Pico. Now bring fire and burn the roof down, madman. Is this what I'm going to see? Wait, is, is this what I'm going to pass through? Do the last one, you haven't touched it. Okay, ma'am. Oh, welcome, sir. 
honey. Okay, ma, I'm sorry. I'm coming back. Let me finish it up. Okay. When you drop the box, you come and complete it. You're welcome. Who is she? Who? Oh, I was our new maid. Maid? Yes, maid. I spoke English, not Spanish. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you employed a maid without my consent? Why? I employed a maid without your consent. Am I not your wife? <laughs> Can't I take decisions in this house anymore? You are my wife. That's the main reason you have to tell me before taking such decision. How can you employ a maid without my consent? Are you out of your mind? Well, if you don't need a maid, I do. Okay, well, you? I do not need a maid and she will leave this house. Hey, 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 hey. What's your name? Agatha, sir. Very good. Do you like your life? Like, do, do you like the air you breathe? Y yes, sir. If you don't want to lose any of that now, get out of this house. I don't, I don't understand. Leave to where? A man I personally brought for myself, you're telling her she's going to leave. Did you bring her here? <laughs> Did you hear what I said? You don't want to lose any of that, do you? You don't. Okay. Wait for me then. I'll be right back. Let you go and come. You're always going and coming. And by the time you come back, you come back empty handed. Are you worse than you left? Rubbish. I brought it with you. You want to send her back. My dear, people continue what you're doing. Ma, ma, please. I have to go. Please. Please. Which one is place? I have to go. What is that? Are you that lily livered? Is it because of this small ranting he ranted here? He's just a dog. That is how he barks. My dear, continue what you're doing. Ma, ma please. I don't want to cause trouble. Oh, Biko. supposed to tell you this because it's barely two weeks we got married but I must tell you I'm under fire what's the problem Brenda Brenda is making the house horrible for me unbearable she knocks she's too lazy she talks to me rudely. She wastes. Above all, she's just insatiable. Andy, these are part of the things you're going to experience in marriage. I mean, there are ups and downs, there are characters to be condoned. Listen, with time, it will get better and you'll both understand yourselves. Don't forget, every woman needs to be pampered. Honestly, Olive, you won't understand. You won't understand what I'm passing through. If I knew marriage was like this, I would have waited a little longer. No, wait. This is unlike you. You have never complained about anything like this. What, what's the problem? In fact, should we go to a restaurant and discuss this? Okay, so this is a toast to the newlyweds. I wish you so much happiness, peace, and love. Andy, I love the way you look at Brenda. And I hope you <laughs> never stop looking at her that way. Cheers. <laughs> hey, I'm here. <laughs> And on that note, I want to thank both of you for your contribution towards our wedding. I mean, you guys are the real MVP. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you too. Between my favorite part of the wedding was when my learner colleague came with a big coat on the dash. Wow. another funny thing. My dad kept asking for the officiating priest. Mm. Tell him it was a court wedding. 
<laughs> Why? Chico was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Love, um, I have a little surprise for you. Oh, I, oh. You know, I'm thinking of showing you that maybe after eating. No, no. no. You just said it's a surprise, and I want to say no. <laughs> okay then. Okay. So we can wait for her surprise. No, she can't. Mm -hmm. I can't do. Okay then. Shall we? Yes. Yeah, we shall. Mm -hmm. Okay. My lovely wife, this guy is for you. Oh, and it's so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Honestly, let me not pretend. I don't like this car. Why? Hmm? What do you mean, why? What happened to Lexus 470? I mean, a Benz or something nicer, Brenda. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this car? What's this? What's the brand, Hyundai? Is it from China or Taiwan or Chinkwa? Where did you get this car from? Brenda. What's Brenda? But that's the fact. If you wanted to get me something, why didn't you get me something better, like a good car? I mean, I just shut, back. shut up. Brenda, Brenda. No, for real, what, what is wrong with this car? Nothing is wrong with it. I am his wife. And I deserve more. Something better. What has come over you? It's just a gift. A gift for a newly married woman. It should be something tangible and not some sort of crap. What has come over you, I ask again? Bay, you are his wife. And you have complete access to every single vehicle. Oh, 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 please, please, please just stop it already. No, look at his cars. What happened to buy me a Benz or something better? And then he got me that. Oh, I should be jumping because he got me a car. Hell no. And no, no, tell me, what would people say when they see me riding in that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what would people say? Yes. That's the problem. Very well then. Well, thank you so much for ruining a beautiful day. Don't forget, this is your first week in this house. Camry. You have to take it easy. Women are like that sometimes. No, oh, but why now? Why? That car is not cheap for crying out loud. That car is expensive. See, Andy. Andy. At least you know the kind of person she is. All you have to do is to 
learn how to handle her. Hmm. Honestly, this this is unbelievable. Love totally you. unbelievable and unacceptable. Just calm down. Okay, take it. Just imagine. to be very sincere to me. I'm no longer angry. Why did you embarrass me in that manner? Did I hear you say embarrass? I've been asking you, did I hear you say embarrass? Don't you think I deserve an apology for that show of shame you just put out there? Huh? Show of shame. So, Brenda, getting you a car is now a show of shame. Huh? Brenda, so I did bad in getting my wife a car. Well, I, I leave everything for God. Uh, God knows I have forgiven you. Jesus Christ be forgiven. And Jay Gabriel, does it look like I care if you forgive me or not? Thing you packed out there is the kind of gift you give to your father, not your wife. I mean, what happened to buy me the latest SUV? And you bought her your day. Excuse and, me. <laughs> you were quite excused, Nandi. Excuse me. I swear, I know understand you. He they do me like a female. Make me the love they go. Now beg I they beg you. Baby, why not? Someone should wake me up from this dream. Someone better wake me up from this dream. I swear I know understand you. He they do me like a female. Make me the love they go. Now beg I they beg you. Baby, why not? For dinner. I'm not hungry. I lost my appetite. But I'm hungry. I was actually thinking you make noodles. I make noodles. Mm -hmm. As your chef or your mate. I'm, Andy, I'm asking you. Am I your mate? I know of a millionaire who has two mates. Two! In his house. We can't even boast of one. And you're sitting down here telling me I should go and make you noodles. What kind of man are you? And if you want us to have peace in this house, I have said it before and I'm going to say it again. Get a maid. Stop disturbing my life. Biko. This is not the woman I married. You are not the man I thought I was marrying. You are not the man I thought I was marrying. Take a look at this house. Same thing in the house while I was dating you. You couldn't even change the cushions. I mean, get something like a new bed from Turkey. Change the kitchen cabinet. Get a whole new life for me. No! You want me to go to that same old kitchen? Can you, can you shut up, please? What was your problem? Hey, hey, hey. Don't tell me shut up. 
them shut up. I'm work on my hour. Don't try it. And I say, shut up. I am going to tell you the truth. Live like a big man. Live like a big man and stop being stingy. Is, is this what I will see for the rest of my life? What, what have I gotten myself into? Huh? What? I asked for some money for my cosmetics. So you're Hello, Joe. What? Is he lying? How? Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm coming there. I'm, I'm coming there now. I'm coming. Hey, 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 They called me that the, 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 the goods go, got siphoned like that. Oh, the loan I got from the bank, gone. The goods, everything is no more. Eh? I, ju I, ju I just can't tell. I, I don't know where to go from here now. Ay, this is sad. You have to go home. Go home. Go, go, go. You don't even understand. No, how, how do I pay back now? How do I pay back the bank? How? How? Hi. Where do I go from here? Where? Where? Get rid of yourself, okay? Don't we'll find, find a way. Find a way. Hi. Nah, eh. You don't understand. Why now? Why now? So when I asked you for, for my cosmetics, that you've been gloomy all day. You've been like this since you came back from work. Eh? Calm down now. It's true, this is very small money. The world is about to crumble on our heads. Huh? It's again. Crumble. God forbid. God forbid it. The world will not crumble on my head. It will never happen. I like it will crumble. I took some loans from the bank. I took that loan to invest in importation of raw materials. <laughs> I just got a call earlier today that for the ship carrying the goods we are hijacked at the Somalian sea. Hey, mm -hmm. All the goods gone and the money. <laughs> Brenda, there is nothing you will not see in this life. Biandi, what are you saying? What nonsense are you talking about? Why are you so full of negativity? Why are you so corny? Nah, 
So because of that little money I asked for, change for my cosmetics, all of a sudden, your goods were hijacked by the Somalian pirates. Sheer. Disgusting. So you think what I told you yesterday night was a joke, right? <laughs> Dad, I know today is 1st of April, but trust me, certainly you can't fool me. <laughs> I'm going for shopping. it. In the next two weeks, everything will be taken away from me. My companies and this house. Auntie, let me get you correctly. You mean you loaned money from a bank and... A huge sum of money. Auntie, you are too careful for this. How could you put all of that money into one business? All of it. Well, it could happen to anybody. I know, but not now, at this time. I, I, I really would love to help, but I, I don't even have any money. Oh, God. I just, I just, I just want to wake up from this dream. You have to calm down. How could you? How could you be too childish to believe such cock and bull story? Ten containers hijacked in one day? I am not here to make you believe him. I am here to urge you to please stay close to him now that he needs your help, your support and your attention. This is too early. Damn too early. So all I'm saying, Brenda, wait, no, wait. No. Are you walking out on me? Brenda! Doesn't get any better. What is this I'm hearing about you and the bank? Huh, Mama. That's the situation at hand now. That's how we see it. Actually, I took some loan from the bank, you know, for my business. Unfortunately, the business got flopped and um, the bank is demanding for their money. Uh, if they don't get their money, they will take everything I have. It's quite unfortunate. You borrowed money from the bank? Oh yes, about 50 million naira. In other words, you borrowed a life to deceive my daughter. What? Oh yes? Why do you come to us like a big man? Do you realize that you're saying a hurtful word to my soul? What you did to my daughter is even worse. Could you deceive us? Now listen, 
I don't want to hear that my, my daughter leaves this beautiful house to anywhere. If you can no longer take care of her, bring her home and take the bright price you paid on her head. Me a piece of my mind. Now listen, I want you to make that house unbearable for him. <laughs> Mama, the only thing on my mind right now is how to get a divorce. Who's talking about making uh, the house unbearable? With a big compensation, he has to pay you for deceiving you. Uh, Mama, just calm down. You don't need to bother yourself. At least you have done your own part. Let me do the rest. At least now it will be ringing in his head that you are not happy with him. All you need to do is just go back to the village. I will call you on the phone and give you the latest developments. Don't worry yourself. And I, I trust you. Eh? I'm waiting. I'm so Adira. Just go. I'll call you on the phone. Okay? You know what? <laughs> Mama, it's enough. Be careful. I remember to call you. I will. I will. I will. Okay, you sent for me. Who oh, is that? Eh? I'm afraid you have to leave for now. This is your salary for this month and next month. Uh, just um, leave your job for now, and hopefully, I will call you back. Oh, 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 you sucking me. Did I do anything bad? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I'll call you back, alright? Just go for now, okay? Hopefully, I'll call you back. Alright? I'm sorry. This. I don't have any other place to go to. Please. and I want it real quick. Calm down and sit down. Please, sit down. What's going on? I am tired of being in that toxic marriage. Has Candy become a monster overnight? I mean, is he abusing you? What abuse is worse than lying to a woman you just married? Barely a few weeks into our marriage and he's already talking about taking a loan from the bank. Brenda. Brenda, you have to calm down. I can't calm Andy down. Andy is a good person. A hard-working young man. One of the richest young boys in town. Listen, he was doing very well before you both got married. And I'm certain you must have made a wrong decision in business and that's why all these things are cropping up. <laughs> Just give him time and everything will bounce back. When? When, Olive? I feel used. I feel deceived. I feel betrayed. You don't have to feel that way. You don't. Are you going to help me with the divorce or not?
I'm going to have to talk to Andy about this first. Besides, you need enough reason for a divorce. I, mean, I know what I want. Yes, gotta have a nice day. I'm sorry. Just look when next you're walking. She be say our love go last, our love no go die. What did I see? Me I agree. I know no sin I lie. You say we go there together. Me and you forever. Now I don't discover you be why your lover. If money then I sugar sugar. If you know then. Hello, pretty. What do you want here? Do you want to push me down again? I've told you I'm sorry. Can I sit with you? I'm not in the right frame of mind to talk. What is your name? Brenda was here a couple of hours ago. She wants a divorce. What did you tell her? I can't tell you what I told her. It's against the ethics of the job. But you're my friend, that's what I'm asking you. Do you want to let her go? Of course, you know I love her. I know. Arif, can you please help me talk to her? I have. She is adamant. Her mind is made up. Listen, you have to do more. Speak to her. Beg her. Baby, I would like to meet you again. Please, please make up my card. Okay. It's all right, so I'll give you a call. I need to run along. If money then I sugar, sugar. If you know then I dig you a hala. Carry the go, I don't tire. I know they from pay as you go love. Pay as you go love. Such a gentle man. Thank you. So I'll give it All right. If money then I sugar, sugar. If you know then I dig you a hala. Carry the go. I don't tire. I know they from pay as you go love. you left with? I don't have time to talk now. I'm talking to my car. I said I would not come back with it. 
What do you mean you didn't come? So where, where is it? You know what? I am sick and tired of this whole nonsense. Come back here. Are you, are you trying to walk out on me? How dare you? Where is my car? You left it. I this. said I, I did not come back with it. What were you trying to do? Hit me? And let me warn you. This should be the first and the last time you will touch me with those filthy hands of yours. Rubbish! Thank you, raving man. Stand here and tell me where you left my car. What's your problem? Andy. Andy, I am going to say this and I'm going to say it the last time. I'm going to make you move and go back to the room. I swear, if you try to stop me again. Rubbish. I see you've lost me. You Yeah, I'll leave. Good afternoon. A quick one. Can you call Brenda? Tell her to bring back my car right now. If she doesn't, I will not take it lightly with her. now, right? Where's the car you left with? Andy, Andy, avoid me. Avoid me, Chukamja Yoki. Avoid me. Biko, Biko, Dodo, Dodo, avoid me. Ha! Ah, Andy! Get back! Andy, Andy, don't try me. Don't try me. Andy, Andy, I'm warning you. Don't try me. Don't try me. What is it? Don't touch me. slap you. I don't want to touch you. Try it, Don't Andy. push me. Try it. Don't push me. Try it, Andy. Go and get my car. Try me. One. Try it. And, and, and I'll give you a back I'll give you a back right now. I'll blow you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Andy. Andy. Stop. 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 Andy. Stop.
at some point, Bay, you have to listen. and talk about this and Brenda if you will not listen to me or give me any respect at all I might have to leave. Olive, I am not going to listen or say anything concerning this matter. I won't do anything. Okay. What car are you talking about? Bella, what car are you talking Olive, about? Please, please, just go. I'm not asking you to leave but can you kindly, I'll sort this myself. Mm -hmm. I will sort it out with her. You can just go please. I'm, I, I can't, I, uh, don't worry about it. Just, just go. Let me open the gate for you. wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. He locked me in this house for three good days. He hasn't allowed me to go anywhere. Oh, Mama, you, you should, oh. You should tell them in the village that this man wants to kill me. I don't, I don't know what else to do. That is just the best. Come with the youth. They, they, they need to know what is happening. Just, just tell the youth. Tell them that he, this man wants to kill me. All right. Where is the car? I don't know where it is. Why are you stolen? You bashed your husband's car. Why not tell him so that he can fix it? Tell your friend to leave me alone. Tell him to let me go. What you are doing to your husband is unfair. It is your friend who is doing something that is unfair to me. Tell him to open the gate so I can go. Let me go. Tell him to just let me go. You can use the door when you're done. Excuse me.
Where is my daughter? She's inside. Again, please. Um, just, just calm down. Let, let me talk to you. Thank you. 